Okay, this time we've got exponential distribution, uh, we've got uh, time to failure, exponential component. So remember, exponentials is to do with time to an event. Um, so obviously, again, it's sort of related to the uh, Poisson, the Poisson process. Poisson process, we're looking at events happen over time, and you can either say, in a certain amount of time, how many events, or the alternative is look at the other way and say, what's the time to the first event to happen? So that's an exponential. So we've got a rate of 1 per 50 days. Um, first of all, if I look at my cheat sheet, I haven't got much. Here's the formula. There are two formulae for this. Um, this is the one you've seen in this course, the lambda e to the minus lambda t. And this is all in terms of rates. The lambda is the rate. Lambda is rate of phase. Occasionally, you'll see in certain textbooks, they'll have 1 over beta e to the minus t over beta where beta now is the expected value, it's the expected time to failure. And that's what MATLAB uses, it doesn't use beta, it uses mu. And all you have to remember for MATLAB is when you do it, instead of using the rate, you need to use one over lambda. A um, bit like the Poisson distribution we've talked before, the exponential has the memorless property, we'll see that a little bit later. And the main thing is, for the CDF, so that's the probability that t is less than or equal to t, you use x cd in MATLAB. Okay, so let's look at the first question. What is the probability of random selected failure or no problem? So, let's start with setting up some random variables. So, let t be the time to the failure of the component. And so we know that t is got an x with a rate of 1 per 50. No problem. And we want probability that it will fail in the first 50 days. So the time to failure must be less than 50. <coughs> Again, you could put less and less than or equal exponential use of continuous random variables, so these are pretty much the same. So the probability is less than or equal to few. It's equal to, okay, so let's go to MATLAB. So we've got the rate equals 1 over 50, so it equals 0 0.02. So mu equals 1 over rate, which is 50. So exp, we've got 50, we've got mu. One command x cdf 0.6321. So that's the command. So this is less than or equal. That equals 0.6321. Excellent. What's the probability? Now, if you're not sure with less than or equal, etc., it's always worthwhile drawing a diagram, which I've done before. So here we are. Here's my command going down. Here's the 50, and we wanted less than 50, so we wanted this area here, which is what that command does. The next one we want longer than 100 days. So now here's 100. I want the probability being greater. I want this area this way. Now, obviously, as I said, most of these commands in MATLAB just do the CDF to do less than. But now this total area is 1, so we go 1 minus that to get this area. So, the probability that t is greater than 100, which as I said is 1 minus the probability that t is less than 100, which equals 1 minus. So it's going to be 1 minus the exp CDF 100 mu, and there we are. Done. Probably here, just so I show some understanding, I should 
post something on the lines of um, where mu equals one over right equals one over one over fifty. Yeah, that quite work. Let me try that a little bit better. One divided by one over fifty. Like that, which equals fifty. Excellent. What is the probability that random selection component will fail between fifty and one hundred and fifty days? So diagram. This one we've got fifty. At one hundred we want it to this area here. So again, a bit like we did the normal distribution, I can work out the probability being to the left of this, probability being to the left of this one, take this area from the total area to the left, and I get this area. So I've got X, C, D, F, 100, mu, minus X, C, D, F, 50, Excellent. Let's copy that. So I want the probability that fifty is less than T, which is less than one hundred, which is said is equal to the probability that T is less than one hundred minus the probability T is less than fifty equals that command there, and that equals that. All done. Right, if the component has lasted 50 days, what was the probability it will last for another 50 days? So what have we got here? So on the probability that t is greater, well, all up, if it's lasted for 50 days and another 50 days, it must have lasted for 100 days, given t is greater than 50. Right, well, this is conditional probability, so we can write this is the probability that t is greater than 100, and t is greater than 50, divided by probability that t is greater than Well, that equals the probability that t is greater than 100 divided by the probability that t is greater than 50. Right, why do I say that? Why do I think that the probability that t is greater than 100 and t is greater than 50 is the same as the probability t is greater than 100? Well, so I'll look at my diagram. Here's the situation. Here I've got the distances over and um, the times over here. t is greater than 50 is everything along here. These are all the possible points of t being greater than 50. These are all the possible points of t being greater than 100. If both these events are happening, I must be greater than 100. Which is why I've done that. Well, now I can write this in terms of CDFs. Equals <coughs> 1 minus the probability of t is less than 100 divided by 1 1 minus the probability that t is less than 50. Just like that. Easy enough to do, we can do that in that lab. So I've got 1 minus the exp cdf 100 mu divided by 1 minus the exp cdf. 50. Yeah. Okay, so put them commands in. And that equals. Trying to uh, 
just do it for me. Nah, that's not going to do. Take what let's get. Read the whole lot. And then just. Command in there instead of in the environment. Clean it up. There's the answer. Okay. The other thing is, though, you've got this momentous property. So, what do I mean by the momentous property? Go by this diagram. If I've got to this point 50, so I know I've got to this point 50, and I want the probability of left in number 50, I can do the calculation to stun, but you can actually say it's the momentous property. Basically, it's almost like saying I've started afresh, and now what's the probability this electrical component just lasts an extra 50? So instead of doing that calculation, you could say by the members' property, it's going to be just the probability that t is greater than 50. So let's put that so by members' property of exponential. probability that t is greater than 50. So probability t is greater than 100 given t is greater than 50. Actually just equal to probability t is greater than 50. Well, that we can work out is equal to 1 minus probability t is less than 50, which equals <coughs> 1 minus xcdf 50 gamma mu, which is exactly the same answer we got before, so it worked. I wasn't lying to you, well not this time. Equals that, which equals Excellent. Order. See you next time.